What's up everyone? I've got an interesting one today. This is the Fat Shark 101 training system. This is an all-in-one learn how to fly FPV drone, controller, goggles, race gates. There's even a few little training things that they throw in. All of this from a name you know, Fat Shark. Let's take a look. Let's talk about the drone in terms of design. We've got a ducted design. This is going to be nice. You can bounce off of walls. Um, we've got brushed motors. The camera is forward. Uh, it is by Fat Shark, so we've got a cool shark design. Uh, it's a nice, solid, soldered design. It's a uh, circuit board. Almost looks like carbon fiber, but uh, this thing can handle bumps and bruises. Now, the camera is forward facing. We've got a nice little protector in the front. It does not adjust the angle. Um, that's kind of the first downside. But if I'm learning how to fly, I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably the best all in one system that you can buy all together. This remote is really pretty darn nice. We've got a couple of switches up here. This is my arming switch. This is my mode switch. So I have three modes on this drone. All the way up is angle or stabilize mode. That's the mode that you're going to want to learn how to fly in. Uh, one click down is acro or rate mode, uh, but it's kind of a tamed version of that. And then when you're ready to fly like the pros, you flip it all the way down and you have full acro mode. Now, uh, that may sound like well, no big deal, but if you buy your own race drone and you want to do this yourself, you're going to have to program that and figure all of that out. Fat Shark has done that for you. Now, this remote is pretty nice. Uh, I do like the feel of the gimbals, uh, but something else that is uh, definitely a bonus is this port here, USB. I can connect this to my computer and fly a drone simulator. Now, when you buy the Fat Shark, you get a subscription to the DRL FPV simulator, which is a pretty good deal. That's usually going to cost you 20 bucks. You may think, why do I want a simulator? It is an excellent way to learn how to fly a drone without having to worry about charging batteries and crashing and fixing and changing propellers. It's definitely something you want to look into. Plus, once you learn how to fly acro, that changes the controls a little bit. So learning how to fly acro is something you're going to want to do in a simulator. Absolute bonus there. Let's talk about these goggles. These are pretty darn nice in terms of box style goggles. Uh, they have nice uh, leather or pleather uh, fittings around, so it is fairly comfortable. We've got a pretty solid big screen. Uh, easy to change. It fits on my head pretty nicely. I actually prefer these to a lot of the other box style goggles that you can get. Now there is no DVR, but you know DVRs and goggles are pretty darn expensive. So I would say you know these goggles alone, if you wanted to buy them, probably going to cost you 50 to 100 dollars. Uh, now this is coming with that package. Typically when I fly FPV, I fly with these Fat Sharks. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. They're going to cost you closer to $300 with my True D Diversity uh, receiver here. But these goggles will record on an SD card so that I can get footage of flying around my house or flying around my backyard. We'll go ahead and check in the description below for links to these goggles, this drone, and a little bit more. This drone, is it pretty good? Yes, it really is. It, it is by far the best all-in-one FPV solution if you want to learn how to fly. Now, is this a drone I would recommend for a, an advanced or an intermediate flyer? Probably not. Um, this fixed angle camera isn't going to change, so once you fly more aggressively, it's going to point at the ground. Um, and brushed motors will wear out. Now, you do get an extra set of brushed motors, which is pretty cool. I also like the little extras you get, like the simulator, the ability to plug in your remote controller to the sim, and these race gates. Uh, so we got something to fly through, something to practice with. That's a whole lot of fun. Okay, so like I said before, uh, it doesn't have the power that I really want, especially uh, since I've been flying. So what would I recommend to an intermediate or advanced flyer that wants something small? I'm actually a big fan of this DYS Shark Mako. I love it. I can fly it on a 2S or a 3S battery. It also has this ducted design and brushless motor, so it's going to be a lot more powerful. I can adjust the camera angle a little bit. Um, now, this is, an, again, a pro-level drone, but an excellent drone for someone kind of past the brushed motor phase and into something a little bit more powerful. This is something I'm going to really want to fly acro, whereas I'm going to stick with stabilize or angle mode while I'm flying my Fat Shark 101.
Alright, so let me give you a quick recap on the Fat Shark 101. Do I like this drone? Yes. Is it a good drone for a beginner? Absolutely. In fact, I think this is the best all-in-one solution for anyone that wants to learn how to fly FPV. Right here you see I'm doing a little bit more flying or bouncing, uh, but I'm in that intermediate acro mode. I really like it. As you can tell, I am not an expert. I'm not a pro uh, FPV drone racer. Um, but this acro, even though I'm hitting some tree branches here, uh, this intermediate acro mode is really nice to learn how to fly. The sticks aren't quite as twitchy. Now, it is not a good mode for doing flips and rolls and stuff. If you want to do that, you're going to have to flip, flip it into full acro mode. Um, and again, I don't like the full acro mode because once you really get moving, you're pointing at the ground. Uh, it's kind of too bad that you can't adjust the angle of this camera. I would have liked a little bit more aggressive style prop, give us a little bit more thrust. That would have been nice. You can also see here that the uh, camera is now in black and white after about two minutes of flying. Three minutes of flying, that consistently was happening to me. A new battery solved that issue. Uh, the batteries also, I'm not a big fan of the way that they stay in place. Sometimes they would fall off after bumps. Um, at least one of my two batteries did. But anyway, good fun, uh, good fun flyer. Not super awesome for a, uh, a pro or really an advanced flyer, but really this is an FPV 101 training system. Great for learning how to fly FPV. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com. We also uh, write on the Drone DJ. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and you'll stay informed with all things drone. Hey, thanks for watching. Happy flying.